Hello, I'm Evans Moragis, the Harry T. Wilkes Artistic Director for Cincinnati Opera. This edition of Raps to Go continues to explore how people close to us came to love opera. Our guest today is bass extraordinaire Morris Robinson. Morris has been on our stage for over a decade, singing many of his signature roles. He is also our artistic advisor, a valued member of our team offstage as well as on. Morris's biography should have the title From Gridiron to Grand Opera. Morris was destined for a pro football career, took a sidestep to work as a highly successful salesman for 3M, but eventually his first love, singing, won out. Here is Morris's story. Being from the South, which is where I currently am, and enjoying something that I can't enjoy during the opera season, I can't really think of a genre of music with which I was familiar that lent itself to my voice, the type of voice I always had inside me. Growing up in the church, it didn't really fit there, so I ended up being a drummer more so than being in the chorus. Uh, there are no basses in gospel choirs. But it wasn't until a chance meeting with Sharon Daniels at the age of 30 where this art form was introduced to me and I was introduced to it. And to be honest with you, it was like a fish jumping into water. Um, everything worked. The articulation that I always felt, the tones, the tone quality, the types of sounds I was able to make instinctually, the type of music that just ran through my head seemed to all to be there. It all just melded into one. It was like a happy, a happy joining, a happy marriage between myself and the opera world. I don't feel like I've ever had a job since that moment. You know, opera isn't a job for me, it's a calling. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to do things that I do on stage with my colleagues. And hopefully when this is all over with, we'll be able to do it again. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. I can't really pick a particular style or a composer that I love the most. I sing everything from Mozart to Puccini to Verdi to Wagner to Mahler and everything in between. Shostakovich, all that. And I love it all because I've been blessed with a gift and an opportunity to express myself musically. And I was unable to find a home that gave me that opportunity before musically. So opera changed my life. And although we're at a pause now, the hiatus with the, with the uh, coronavirus, and my heart goes out to all of the people that have been lost in this horrible, horrible affliction, we really need, at this point in time, we need art, we need each other, we need love, we need music. And I'm looking forward to the opportunity when this is all over, that we can all get together and I can get on stage with my colleagues and we can give you the love and the beauty that music provides. <clears throat> the sense of community, the sense of brotherhood, the sense of oneness, togetherness. That's what opera means to me. I get just as much joy being on this side of the stage, giving it to people as I do being able to participate, being blessed with the gift. So I look forward to, when this is all over, being able to do so again. All right? Stay safe. Peace. Morris Robinson helped me fulfill a dream I'd had since coming to Cincinnati in 2005. I've long wanted to produce Verdi's Il Trovatore, but it's a tricky one to cast. All five principal roles must be glorious voices and masters of Verdi's extremely demanding score. We struck it lucky in 2015 with a starry cast that included Giuliana Di Giacomo as Leonora, Jamie Barton singing her first Azucena, Russell Thomas in the title role, Stephen Powell as the Count di Luna, and Morris Robinson as Ferrando. His is the first solo voice you hear in the opera, and it sets the bar for the rest of the performance. Recorded live in Music Hall in June 2015, here is Morris singing Ferrando's aria, Abietta Zingara. <laughs> Thank you. 